chicken or the egg? My answer? Fried chicken. Hmm? Nowadays, just about any fast food place you can think of probably offers some sort of the same old chicken sandwich. Mm. Well, get ready, because I'm embarking on a journey to find the best hidden chicken sandwiches only locals Shh. know. If you're watching this in 2026, or maybe even later, one of the places shown here might be a national brand by now. But roll for today is simple. I must be able to count their locations using my fingers. For our first chicken sandwich, I actually went to New York City, but the place was a YouTuber's worst nightmare, so I'll show you the good stuff first. Federal donuts and chicken. With nine locations around Philadelphia, or as locals call it, Philly, uh -huh. I am some distance away from New York City. As the name suggests, they got donuts and chicken. Now that sounds like an amazing combination. Ooh, cool in here. Ah, they got a place for uh, socially awkward people like myself. You'll see later, but this is probably 20 times more space than the restaurant I went in New York. Phew, what a relief it was to be able to freely look around. I kicked out everyone so I can take a good picture. Definitely did that. <laughs> now, their menu wasn't very descriptive, but... Ooh, cookies and cream, are you serious? It sure was interesting. Vietnamese iced coffee. Oh my goodness. According to the staff, that's pronounced this coffee. Federal donuts and chicken. Da -da -da, da -da -da, da -da -da. Wow. Bun is super cold for some reason. On top. Oh, maybe that's why. Coleslaw, right? With a lot of stuff inside. And that. I believe it's double fry. Uh huh. Very hot. Double fry chicken patty. Wow. Wow. Here we go. Oh my. This is so good. Like, it's different than any other. Wow. Like, this chicken here. Chicken feels like real regular chicken, you know, regular fried chicken. I don't know if people are able to hear. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. Now this is the thickest, the thickest chicken patty. Mm -hmm. I like this chicken breast very much. Like I'm never a person to say, oh I like chicken breast. Mm-hmm. Oh, amazing. Like this crushed chicken breast is so good. I want to say all the coleslaws, this this added things that add texture, I think just chicken and the bun itself would have been perfect. There's no need to add any other stuff. Maybe a slice of cheese. Maybe. Damn. Now, okay, biscoff. Or they said biscoffy. Uh -huh. Biscoffy. Oh, I see. So we got the donut, oh, which looks to be fried, that is covered in biscoffy. Mmm. 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 Rather closer to the donuts I like, the duck donuts, the original. Wow. Mmm. Oh. I was actually like expecting to be overdosed with chocolatey sweetness, but this is actually very delight. Microwave this for 8 seconds. You'll be in heaven. Oh, man. oh my god. Sorry guys about the uh, terrible audio. Wow. What's the point of this, right? What's the point of this if I'm gonna have my mic off? <gasps> oh man. Well, let's not wander too far from chicken sandwiches. Cookies and cream donuts were just sprinkles and Vietnamese coffee was too much like real coffee. Some time later, it was once again time. I'm here at Chickalicious. Yep, Chickalicious. Not Chick fil A, but Chickalicious. They have one location here in Temple Hills, Maryland, 
They are the youngest and newest place on the list. They opened in late June 2024, so they've been around for maybe two months. Yeah, two months, all right? For those wondering, similarity to Chick-fil-A, they do open on Sundays, all right? Chickalicia. Patrolled by a crazy chicken lady and home to the tiny raptors. Yes, these raptors. It's a small cozy place with a completely open kitchen that is a small family owned business. I had a chance to meet the youngest member of the family. AK. AK, okay, Tony. Tony, nice yeah, to meet nice you. Nice to meet you, man. Getting started? All right, yeah. I like editing. Okay, oh, you like editing. Yeah, that's the hardest part generally, but I like editing. That's good. He, like myself, was getting started on Instagram. I should get an Instagram, right? Tenders, wings, and sandwiches way. Ooh. Ooh. Are you seeing this? Yes. Okay, thank you. No, that's not your food. That's something else. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> uh, they were so generous with everybody. I will be back. Me and my wife, my daughters, everybody coming back. <laughs> Happy customers left and right. All right, let's get the party started. So I got two boxes and a shake. All right. All right, we got the fries, and we got the burger hiding in there. Oh, you know what? This is the most Five Guys looking fries I've ever seen from any places. It even tastes like Five Guys too. That's a huge compliment. Yeah. Do a blind test? Like you can't tell whether this is Five Guys or this is something else. Right. Wow, that's huge. Now I wonder what this one is. This one was on the house. Are you serious? I was expecting like, you know, maybe fries or some size, but I wasn't expecting like a full meal. That's, wow. All right, let's check this guy. Ooh, are you seeing this? Oh, like I've always thought I did not like how I was always showing you guys like half eaten stuff and I always thought oh, maybe next time I should carry a knife with me so that I can cut things in half and show you but they did it for me all right this is awesome we got chicken we got coleslaw cheese and a lot of honey in there Yeah. Gigantic piece of chicken breast. The honey, very much like that Wendy's breakfast, meaning I love it. It's very good, it's sweet. All right, the cheddar, the cheese is on the sharp side. Mm -hmm. Yep, definitely on the sharp side. Harmony. This is definitely, definitely unique. I know some chicken sandwiches have cheese on it, but this sharp side is definitely new and definitely different, unique, and I like it. Really like it. Mm -hmm. Can't let this go to waste, right? Now, they're trying to make me put on some weight. So I got five pieces of gigantic wing in there. Oh, if you're gonna do it this way, I would recommend, oh man, music so loud. <laughs> the wing is very well fried, crisp and delicious. However, since honey sandwich is very sweet, I would recommend eating wings first or do utilize some sauces. Mm. Come on. <laughs> They're so thick. It's usually good news. Mm. I just finished eating. I still have a whole box of fries and chicken. <laughs> this was a feast. A very happy feast, yeah. Afterwards, I was back home to Virginia. Next up on the list, the Redbird Hot Chicken and Fry, which is two locations here in Virginia. This brand is also brand new. They opened their first store in December, 2023 um, here at their second location here in Aspen. <clears throat> I chose this location because 
They have a perfect 5.0 rating with over 100 reviews on Google Maps. Offering a chicken platter for $6.99 and a sandwich for $4.99. This one offered ample tables along the wall, counter type stands equipped with at your disposal sauce bottles, which is very hard to find nowadays. Through a semi open kitchen, I was able to see their spices. On the menu was chicken cheese fries, chicken bowl, tenders, and sandwich. Can I do like one original and one medium? Can I add the cheese on just the original? If I sit all the way out here, I think the music is manageable. Mm -hmm. This video has been a constant battle against music. Yeah. <laughs> well away from the speaker, here I come. Wow, smells amazing. Wow, holy cow. They said it's chicken tender, right? So I was expecting a tiny, tiny piece of chicken. Wow. Well, crinkle. Wow, it's crisp. Oh wow. Very crisp. Hmm, oh, delicious. Eh? Now, this is bigger than many of the chicken breasts I've seen. So even the original has very slight taste of spiciness, okay? If your kid is like four years old, he or she may complain that it's a little too spicy. You can see the difference in level of spice. Spice as in like sprinkles that you put over. Wow. This is the chunk. This is a chunk of the spicy. Mm -hmm. mm. It's got a very proper kick. I wonder what this is. Sauce for fries, perhaps? Ooh, medium does have a kick. I think this is honey mustard based. Honey mustard based. Now you can see a lot of veggies have fallen out and there's still more inside. This could come down to a preference. Like maybe you could ask for it. No veggies, if you are afraid of veggies like myself. So I think the yellow, what's here? White sauce, big bird chicken, and hot sauce. I think this white sauce would be what you would expect at like a halal chicken platter place. Yep. Go with big bird chicken sauce. All right. Seems to be very watered down version of spicy mayo. You know, the one you make with sriracha and mayo. How is it? Awesome, yeah. <laughs> Are you guys regulars here or? My first, oh, first, first time, time too? All right. Yeah. Where do you make it? <laughs> Give it like 9.5 maybe, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you need a solid, you definitely a solid piece. Yeah. yeah, definitely eight or a higher, but. Eight or higher. Yeah. <laughs> Have a good one, guys. Half point taken away due to veggies. Personal preference. Alright, sorry veggies. As delicious and healthy as you are, you do come with very distinctive, strong texture. This definitely is the way. Everything's awesome, thank you. <laughs> Looks like the staff is courteous too. He was just making rounds, asking everybody like how food is. And he noticed I had a camera set up. He first waved to make sure like if it's okay for him to, I guess, talk. Mm -hmm. That's courteous thinking, right? Ooh. Man. This was a feast. For $13? Ooh. I can, I can. Thank you. And it handed me something. I don't know what it is. Ooh. Now it makes me feel better, right? Because it's a dessert, right? That's better. All right. All right, let me cut this. Ooh. 
there's a phrase in Korean. I just can't find the exact. Right. 쫀득쫀득한. Mm. Now let's go back to New York City, where there's a blasting in here. Space was so small that I did not feel comfortable even taking a picture, and I had to set up my camera right in my face. I'll keep this part very short. 375 chicken and fries with six locations nearby New York City and two locations in Omar and Qatar. This is an international chain. As far as why I'm in suit, I was at a wedding earlier and now I'm up for some chicken. Now that's two birds with one stone with one of the birds literally being the chicken. Oh, I see what okay. you did there. Okay. Right? The menu featured many kinds of sandwiches, chicken and pop, chicken and waffle, and chicken tenders. I went for their signature 375 hot chicken sandwich. Here's my combo with a sandwich, fries, and choice of one sauce. Wow, it's hot. Alright, fries first. Ooh, it's crispy. Oh my god. I just wish you guys can hear this. Since music was in the way, I added some sound effects to make it as real. Now, now, time for the entree. Here we got a sandwich that's glowing red because of the light. No, it's not radioactive. I see pepper jack cheese has melted very well. Mm. Down below, we got the coleslaw. Um, patty is really hot. Right out of fryer, scorching hot patty, volcanic melting cheese, sauce, and some pickles. All right. Mmm! Yeah! That is so good! So well fried! Wow! It does have a kick of spice. I did mild, which is the least spicy option. And look at the inner meat. It's a proper chunk. Mm -hmm. Now, chicken bread. Mmm! Mmm! Fried the golden perfection. Like the outer edges were so crisp. Chicken is full of flavor. The sauce adds a lot of different taste and kick. This is astonishing. Nice. Well, you know food is good when I just keep going for the food without taking a single sip of a drink. So I don't want to ruin, change, alter taste of the food in any way. Cheers. <sighs> 375 chicken and fries. Easily five star. If every chicken sandwich was this good, I'll have chicken sandwich every day until I turn into a chicken. Yeah. All right. Another day, another chicken sandwich. I am now across the river from New York City. I'm here at Bob White counter with four locations also nearby New York City. I'm here in Jersey City, New Jersey. Do you know why the chicken crossed the road to get to the other side of the counter? Bob White counter. Yeah. Their official name is Bob White counter, right? But then kind of makes me look bad because uh, on their sign, they only have Bob White. They, they don't have the counter. Whatever, yeah. All right, they got tenders, regular chicken, they got salad, they got mac and cheese, something for everybody, all right? Inside was a counter, uh-huh, and ample enough tables. As I looked at the menu, everything seemed ordinary, but then I faced a dilemma. They got chicken biscuit. Oh, man. I got a, ooh, it's warm. Homemade this again? After all, I was there for the chicken sandwich, right? It's like a brioche bun, right? Or maybe this one is tender. Uh, it's going with the first bite. Oh my god. Mmm. So good. Mmm. Alright. Bob White sauce. Mmm. It's a very savory type of sauce with a very weak hint of sourness at the end. That actually makes a great harmony with barbecue sauce. 
you know, barbecue sauce is simple, sweet. Now add in with the Bob White sauce. Mmm. Mmm. I like it. They said this is homemade. All right. Mm. I knew it. I knew my first instinct was right. If you're doing breakfast or brunch, chicken biscuit is right. Mm. The biscuit is good. If you're looking for that greasy, greasy biscuit, this might not be it. But you can tell. My hands are still dry. It's just very flavorful, rich. Mm. Biscuit. Do it with Bob White sauce. Chicken biscuit. It's gonna be heavenly. Maybe I should take this with me. What do you think? <laughs> Is that too cringe? That was a great adventure. Great foodie adventure. If you are ever in any of the area mentioned in the video, be sure to check them out. You won't be disappointed. If you know any hidden gems, let me know in the comments. It doesn't have to be a chicken sandwich. And one day, I'll make this a national series covering the entire country. YouTube thinks you'll enjoy this video. So, thanks for watching. Goodbye.